Go and flip it. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna queue over. Nice one. No, that was really yeah. good. That was so good. That's game winning. All right, YouTube. This is it. I can't talk too loud in my house because it's getting late and Mary's asleep. In 24 hours, the boot camp starts. If you have not signed up, you need to go to bootcamp.lol in the next 24 hours or the price doubles. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. As you can see, we've got our new app. We're bug squishing and testing right now, loading all the content in. It'll be ready to go. When you see this video, it'll be ready to go tomorrow, the 22nd. That's when it starts. The announcements will be at 9 a.m. Eastern. There'll also be a $10,000 tournament. It'll take place in two regions, NA and E West. We've got some of the best educational content, got guest speech, speak, speechers, speakers, coaches, and everything. Really pumped. Hope you guys can make it. Sign up now before it's too late. This is the last ad and I'm getting after it. Oh, and by the way, enjoy this video because I got Xpetsu back to teach me everything you need to know about Shen. Um, make sure to check out his channel and everything. And you can watch me suck it up on Shen. It was a really good session. I learned a lot and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you at the boot camp. I got to go to bed. All right, peace. Love you guys. <clears throat> um, Do you have like audio off in game or? Uh, It's because I'm sharing my full screen. Do you want audio? Mm, no, it's fine. Uh, I think okay. this is fine. You're gonna, you're gonna survive? You're gonna be able to handle yeah, it? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I don't need you to. You get flanked here. Yeah. I mean, for chat or anyone who's watching on YouTube, I mean, the like audio clues actually give a lot of information and they make your reaction times faster because humans react to uh, audio faster than uh, visual stimuli in like fast paced you situation. love this stat you've brought this stat up with me twice <laughs> this is like your favorite fact this is like well, instead of instead of bear fact. facts instead of cat facts it's like human facts with expat <laughs> <laughs> human performance capability facts yes okay we're gonna oh yeah gonna i should probably get up here blade. yeah immediately now it's your call if you want to do it yeah in the i'm gonna i'm or... gonna i'm gonna telegraph the shit out of yeah. it i'm just gonna big dick it i mean I mean, probably you get some intimidation value from that, so maybe it's even better. Like, you always like, have to oh, think this about serious. the human factors. <clears throat> so, how do you think I should be playing this right now? Um, I would probably hit the wave and, like, uh, make sure I get all of the minions. And then, now that we have grasp, we go for short trades. You know, just do okay. all of this. Oh, that's no, cool. that's so good. And now, now we look for aggressive play positioning again, like immediately. Don't let him come to the wave. Yeah, exactly. Cool. And then we back off. That's yeah, I'm all chilling. Good. And look, look how you place the blade now, because the wave will freeze in a position where. Can I just he has like cheat even closer and just be like obnoxious, like do one of these? Uh, yeah, that's completely fine. Because yeah. the thing is that you don't waste the ability because you can still use the auto like some minions. And now you just, just like completely force him. Don't let him get any CS. Huh. This is exactly how the matchup should be played. Okay, cool. It's probably, I probably Ward River here. Yeah, for Kindred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's bottom anyways. I'm dumb. Shit. No. Just let him have this. Warwick was doing some invasion strategies. That's a good trade. You need to get one more out of the cough there. Yeah, I was scared. I'm scared so to like go too ham that, here. There was a mistake. Uh, is you had two Q out attacks, but you let them time out. So what Got that it. does is it makes you lose energy. Because whenever you out attack with Q, you gain back energy. So at this point, uh, you would have uh, like 40 more energy right mm, now. And it would okay. be the difference between... I'm bad. And see how it I mean, yeah, you can't really escape this. Yeah, I figured I figured just go for the ignite and try to trade out if possible. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't looking at the map. I wasn't either. Had, I wasn't. We either. had we had vision of the gank. That's fine. That's how it is when you play ignite. Then these early ganks can't really uh, set you far behind. I'll be fine. Yep. I think this um, looks pretty good for our Warwick though. Yep. <laughs> she even flashed at the. Last yeah, minute. the tail end. Yep. Chogat probably didn't use flash, right? Yeah, I bought boots. I don't know if that was correct or not. Um, I just uh, felt like a quick buy to get I, back to lane. In that situation, I think it's fine. I don't know uh, if you had... Did you have money for I a I had 400. I, I did have enough yeah. for a movie. 
So I would have probably bought a ruby crystal, but uh, the boots are completely fine. Maybe when you go boots, I would have gone for a control ward or a health potion at least. Just to okay. like use all of the gold that you have. And in these situations, I have the tendency to use Q to farm. Mm -hmm. uh, just like what you did, so just I, I like guarantee that I get the cannon. But I'm not sure if it's actually necessary, but for example, if you're uh, teaching lower elo players and in a situation mm -hmm. where you don't have uh, like an immediate reason not to use Q, why, why would you not use it, you know? M might as well get the one extra CS because you used Q. Oh, he's not gonna, okay. It's like, if he can freeze he, this. Because like, even even if the perfect player is able to last hit those without Q, no, uh, none of our viewers is gonna be perfect. So might as well use Q to last it. There is no dispute. Okay, he's there. Okay. Yeah, th this is good blade positioning. No, now we don't want to use Q to last hit because uh, we don't want to ruin the blade positioning. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it, but yeah, you should have used W there. So oh yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You can stupid. actually proc, uh, pro, uh, block grasp procs with W. So even okay. Sheen goes through, but uh, you block grasp procs. Where's my, where's my Q? Did I like waste? It? Am I dumb? I think I'm dumb. You had it uh, on cooldown. I better stop trolling these. Better stop trolling these ganks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, so, I'm so what I'm here. like instantly seeing is that uh, you keep your W way too much. So Got what it. I do is, whenever I block can block one or two auto attacks, I always use W. And what you're not uh, taking into account is that when you're taking these trades. Uh, using W would have blocked almost 100 HP of minion damage in the Got last trade. Got so, it. So you need to actively move towards your blade uh, whenever you're taking these trades. So I always mm. auto attack and then move towards the blade so that I can be in a position where I can W myself when necessary. Got it. And this is actually quite common for newer Shen players where they don't realize that they're kind of actively mispositioning themselves with mm -hmm. respect to the blade and then the W. I don't know if I should have ulted that or not. Uh, it feels... Look at Vayne, look at Vayne, look at Vayne. I need to know if something's oh, going on. That's a TP, it, that's it, a it, fucking it's so, Cho'Gath it's so TP. Important. It's so important to look right now. Because if they dive, you need to know. Look, still keep looking. It's it's good. You just have to look at them. Yeah. I, even if they win this uh, by themselves, it is very important that you looked so that you can possibly uh, stop the situation. Yeah, that must have been a Cho'Gath TP then. Yep. And now, yeah, I would use Q so that we can push the wave faster. Because we want to get it to crash. That's Let's good. just reset. Oh, he's still down uh, there. Yeah. It feels really bad though with just... Okay, with just okay. boots. Dude, we're gonna go Rift, Ma Rift Maker first. I okay, think. okay. Scra scrap the bummy cinder. We go Rift Maker. Okay, so I go for I, this. I will, I will, uh, control word, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I will explain this. So, back in Season 8, my counter to Chogat was taking Ravenous Hunter instead of Ultimate Hunter. Okay. And this is because um, you have a lot of base damage on your Q versus him, mm -hmm. but you don't have enough sustain to fight him. If you don't have Omnivamp, uh, you will lose the 1v1s because you simply don't have the sustain. But immediately when you get a little bit of Omnivamp, uh, you will start winning the 1v1s, and I'm talking like mid-game 1v1s, so maybe level 13 or something. And that uh, changes the matchup drastically, because you can start to side lane versus Cho'Gath, and he's forced to group, and you will always like uh, have an advantage on the side lane. Got it. Can I fight him with this just the leeching leer bullshit yeah, or no? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You, you win at this point. And that's a good W. Yeah, yeah no, I'm trying no to incorporate off. it more. Ooh. Yeah. Get off me, Cho. So, uh, tank versus tank matchups, or grasp versus grasp matchups, it's so important to use W correctly. So, Got in it. early game, uh, whenever you can block uh, his grasp and get your grasp off, that's a that's a real big win, because it stacks up. And now we dodge Q. Uh, we, yeah, that that's fine. Uh, yeah, I wasn't... Here. And then we have to look bot lane. 
I wouldn't ult. Not yet. And then look mid lane. Yeah. Good. Oh, this Ooh. motherfucker. <laughs> you win this, you win this. Good W. Come here, bitch. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Gross. Uh, I gotta go home. Okay, the, there was a situation or like... Uh, w one in uh, five times, you don't get the kill there because of how you played it. Okay. So what you did is... Um, he was in lethal range if you auto attack with Q, but your Q wasn't up anymore. Uh, or it wasn't up yet. So, so he needed... Uh, you needed either two normal basic attacks or you needed one Q auto attack. So what I would do there is I would um, choose to not attack him when I'm in range. Instead, walk towards him, uh... wait for Q, and then get the one guaranteed Q auto attack Got to finish it. the kill. And this is something that me and Sending Help call uh, the walk along. And it's uh -huh. used quite often actually, because in some situations, auto attacking means that you will be left behind in the chase. Right, because you stop to auto attack. So we I will see. actively choose to not auto attack when our Q is coming back up, so that we can be in front of the enemy and get the empowered Q. So that, that way we get the slow and we get more damage. I'm gonna get fucked with. I tried to make yeah. you move, Warwick, but you didn't want to. All right, so I'm gonna reset. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> So, I would buy the Blasting Wand and probably... What boots do you want this game? I mean, maybe I feel like just tabbies, go right? I mean, I would maybe even go... This is tough. Go Mercs, go Mercs. Okay, your call. You the boss, man. Yep. Yeah, my, my fear is having to deal with... But I guess there is a Ziggs bot too, so it's not completely... Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing is that we can go for something like... A, I mean, they, do they have enough healing for Bramble West to be worth? No. Okay, uh, I know what we're gonna do. So, after we complete Rift Maker, we're gonna build um, the Merc Threads first of all, and mm -hmm. then a Warden's Mail, and then we're gonna build Titanic Hydra. Okay. Th that's gonna be our build. So, we will itemize for Split Push, but also uh get some armor so that we don't just immediately die to kindred if, he, if she comes or if oh they my God, come, I sorry, that? correct pronouns <laughs> 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 i'm trying to whittle this guy down so i can put him in lethal range with ignite yep. that's correct that's good then just one grasp proc and move out yeah yep. don't let him uh, attack you with grasp so what I do a lot in those micro situations where you go for one auto attack is I will auto attack and then immediately move close enough to the blade so that I can double you if he decides to auto attack me. Right? So you're always kind of... Now I would have yeah. doubled you there. Just to block the uh, one auto attack, it's worth. Oh, I see. Okay. Because okay. at the end of the day, it's... Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, that was Okay, good. that guy's at bottom. I think I can solo kill this guy often. He's yep. going to look for TP a lot too, I think. Thing. You just have to I'm be wary when you're both to pull this low wave HP, off. Yeah, if he can burst you with ultimate. I mean, you're winning these trades, but you're missing the taunt constantly. Yeah, I don't know why I'm missing it. I'm just being a noob, but yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay I can so kill him there. The next W taunt. was a little bit mistimed. I think I can kill him on this taunt. Yeah, you need to get empowered Q though. Okay. So... Obviously, a better sand player would have uh, simultaneously used half keys or whatever keys you have bound. Yeah, I'm being trash. It's because I've got this guy at lethal, so I feel like yeah, giving up yeah. the lethal is, is really but bad. When you build when you build a habit of using those keys, then you can uh, like look at bot lane in between auto attacks. So it's like just yeah, slight you're, optimization. You're right. But. Uh, like even if you looked and you decided to ulti then Shogat will cancel it so you will, you will need to have like good awareness but sometimes it's okay for the opponent to cancel it so if mm. you're in a if the bot lane is in a situation where you granting them the shield will save them and even turn around the fight then it's almost preferable that Shogat cancels you because then you will get to stay in lane look me 
Oh, oh no. Oh, God. No. Oh, no. I thought he would <laughs> yeah, go in. Yeah, I know. I know what you thought. <laughs> oh, that's a tragedy. Oh, my God. I thought he would turn. Yeah, that shows the importance of um, actively um, pinging your intentions. Yeah, you're right. I should have pinged it. I think I have to give this up. Um, yep. Yeah, I do. It's yeah, because they have kindred all day, so. Oh, they get drag, whatever. I'm tempted to walk up, though, because he's got no mana. How big are my balls? <laughs> Ginormous. Oh, no. I don't see how this could go well. Oh! <laughs> I blame you. Are you, are you blame me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, the NA way, right? It's the... Yeah. Do we have enough for anyway. Yeah. Maker? Yeah, we do. Now we can definitely 1v1 Shogat wherever we want. So let's see. I never use this item like ever. Yeah. So now, now that it got changed like a couple of months ago, it stacks up really quickly. And basically what you can do is you can just like... If you get this while you're still in laning phase, you auto attack mm -hmm. once. Then uh, it triggers, it counts uh, you to be in combat, and you can wait for uh, the three seconds to stack up, and then you E in, and you have the true damage ready. Hmm, okay. Mm, yeah, uh, like, if this were, like... I mean, I guess this is a real coaching session, but I I, I would say that uh, your laning is like okay on Shen, but mm -hmm. uh, the, you would get like an immediate improvement if you looked around the map constantly. It's it's just yeah. something that you have to like build a habit of. Obviously, like uh, this is uh, not a standard circumstance since you are uh, kind of distracted by me talking, and then you also have to. Uh, constantly think about how to play the lane, so you're using some of your uh, mental what's performance the, to do what's that. The, uh, it's the attention theory or whatever. It's like, yeah. how much attention do you have? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've got no ult here. There's nothing I can do. <clears throat> I mean, this is going to be a good challenge, I think. Well, this is still definitely winnable. I think it's winnable for sure. Yeah. I, mean, I love these th that attention that theory is precisely why I don't have chat on. Because, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I mean, mine's off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we if I have to read this shit, I would lose fun, my, yeah. I would lose my brain. Yeah. This guy's no ult. What do you build next? Uh, ruby crystal. Go ruby crystal. Yeah. We can go. You can maybe go like, uh, just build one cloth armor into Titanic Hydra, or then you finish Warden's Mail and go into Titanic Hydra. Mm. I would check if the Krogs have been taken since the mark was on them. So okay. this guy could be here backing or something. Yeah. Possibly. Oh shit. Yeah, he's probably probably lingering around for sure. We got two drags. We got a we got a dragon win con uh, sometimes. What's the next dragon? Two minutes. Yeah. yeah. yeah you have a clear win condition, no some drags. So I, I would I would split push now in top lane. Uh, uh, priority is staying alive, and you're trying to get um, uh, pressure at the same time as dragon spawns. Maybe preferably even a little bit before. Mm. So I would probably start. I mean, your team is resetting, so... I mean, this is fine to do now, you just need to farm. Hmm. If you get one, uh, yeah, nice. Alright. Now you're in danger. <laughs> that Kindred is kind of fed. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, giga fed. But the good news is the wave's not in that terrible of a spot. The bad news is I don't know what's going on in mid. 
struggle bus of the year. They should be able to fold and, and get something done though. A lot. Vayne's got all. Yeah, Orc has all. In bot lane, so you for sure get trash here. They're, they're trolling a little bit. Oh, uh, I battles. think we insta go to Drake in this position, like when you spawn. You just have to spam ping your team to go for Drake. Yeah, we I'm can do it. I'm pretty sure that's the play. Yeah, I mean, I'm they down. took so much damage from Six Star, it's kind of crazy. They were both 80% HP, now they took. Ah, uh, that, that sucks. They, they uh, over chased the NA situation. mechanics, NA mechanics, buddy. Yeah. You just. You just get used to that. I would just keep spam pinging Dragon. Yeah, we, we're gonna go there, don't worry. We should have it. We have a good chance to get it. Yeah, Ziggs is still in mid lane. Vayne resetting it. Realistically, it's gonna be like 3 versus 4. Okay, Chogat is on the other side. If you get a catch with Lux... I'm trying not to like telegraph. Yeah, look, Ziggs is completely mispositioned, so... Now I would just... Uh, there's two people. This is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. Good W. Mm. Where, where now we go Drake. Yeah. Now we just rush it. Uh, it's okay <laughs> to go and flip it. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna queue over. Nice one. No, that was really yeah. good. That was so good. That's game winning. Nice. Guaranteed down. Yeah. Oh. I kind of want a Baron so here, good. I think. Uh, but, uh... I think Ziggs. He, yeah, you're right. It's gonna well, be a little bit it's... difficult. You don't have enough DPS to do it. That's good. Uh, you get trash here, and then we reset. Yeah. Nice one. Okay, kill this fucking guy, Artem. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if Yone just went on trash instead of uh, greeting for Ziggs, you kill him for sure. Yeah. But. Uh, can't coach all of the play players. <laughs> can't coach game. all of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll grab this. Yeah. Grab the pink. Okay, Tiamat cloth armor. Or cloth armor? You don't want pink? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You would sell Doran's shield for control ward. Okay, so we'll go this. We'll go cloth. We'll go double pink. And do you go sweeper? Mm, no, I keep warning trinket. Okay. Because uh, in this situation, when when you're the aggressor, so you have more. Oh my That's Baron. This guy yeah. That's NA right there, boys. Yeah. That's Baron but for sure. When you're winning, then Oracle Sense is more valuable. And when you're losing, I feel like Warding Trinket uh, for stealing Baron and for uh, getting vision is more important. But oh, this guy's pissed. Yeah. Better get away from him. Yeah. He's got a W ult. It's fine. If he is forward, you can kill him. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If he's you gonna E forward, you kill him. But if he doesn't, then you can't. This is kind of good that he's over here, actually. Uh, this is probably favorable. Yeah, now I'm just gonna have to defend the tower. Maybe if he hit down, Lux can kill him. I'm trying but... to be, like, yeah. cheeky about it, but he's yep. not. Alright, I gotta get over here real quick and block. <clears throat> I think we lose in hip no matter what here. Mm -hmm. No, no, we don't. I would kind of chase the Cho'Gath here. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna like chase into the Baron to be honest. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, now look, Warwick. Yeah, I'm watching. You can probably uh, just. Yeah, I'm just gonna fling it. I'm just gonna fling it. Yeah. Good. Mm, that's yeah. That, that's good. I want to. I want to do it. I want to yeah, force yeah, it. And you, just you get the, the insurance. It, but... I want the insurance policy of just being able to back. Probably guys you are... can just get a good ward somewhere. Okay, that's a uh, okay ward, but. Well, look what's going on both lands. I have to do this. Okay, I have yeah, to try. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's brave. I don't know what's I the uh, vein feel just right now. Here, it's okay. Mm, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I want to leave, but I want Vayne to move. You know what I mean? Because if we don't yeah. move, we're never going to have a play. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, I was trying to hover that, that taunt and look for something, but. Mm, yeah. So what I would have done is uh, when we ping for Baron, instead, I will just get one good ward somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, then wow. recall, because realistically, they're not going to. Um, 
bad on when they have only three people up. And if we can delay the game out by two minutes, then Ocean Drake is spawning. And that's our win condition. So Drake there, uh, ba trying to like force Baron there is really difficult for us. And we yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to basically just go to drag and hope to get it. But yeah. the Baron's definitely gonna make. Well, Lucian's dead for twenty, so we could definitely set up something. I really don't want to just. I don't think th these guys understand that we don't really we don't really benefit from dragging the game beyond like. Like, I will go if, if, uh, oh. oh, what the fuck? You gotta help me, dude. Oh my god, he's not even know. gonna fake it. <laughs> Maybe. Mm, no, nah, we're not that lucky. Yeah, so the thing is that you should not be there at that moment. You should be in top right. lane. Because uh, Drake is the next objective, and you wanna be on the opposite side of the map. You had your ultimate up, so. Was it up when I was in mid? Yeah. Okay, then it's my fault. So, we would right now be fighting Shogat, and I'm convinced that you can still beat him in 1v1 with Ignite. So, if we can just stay on that lane, get it pushed out, then we have some kind of pressure for getting Ocean Kay. Drake. See if but I can make a defense since here. they are overstaying here, uh, you... Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> have to try <laughs> something. I'm surprised the Lux doesn't ult in that spot. The taunt. That's true. Actually, you would have killed the yeah. Lux ults. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Tough, tempoed game. It is what it is, but we learned something, I, I think. Yeah, my uh, my decision on the end to to float around Baron, I'll show you why I did it. Because uh, I, was, I was thinking in terms of numbers. If the vein just slides over, it looks really good. And I kept expecting is, her to, to number yeah. it and just to go. The thing is that when we when we ping towards Baron, Vayne was in bot lane at that moment with Yone. Yeah, let's see. Trying to kill Lucian. So kind of my intuition tells me that it's not realistic that we would ever get Baron there. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like um one of the things for me is that now that if I if I play Shen again and if I play him in top lane, I definitely have a more clear understanding of the the identity of the champion, and mm. that that particular situation makes a lot more sense to me now. So I definitely learned something. Cool, man. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm gonna. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna shut this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, go to Expatsu's channel. It will be in the description. It'll be in all the things. You can learn pretty much everything you need to know about Shen. He's got a mobifier guide, which doubles as an encyclopedia, so you can read all that. Um, and yeah, did you have anything you wanted uh, to say before I go? Any, I mean, any uh, last words of wisdom? This was a relaxing evening with the League of Legends. Yeah, man. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thank you so much.